Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump uh, right into it. All right, that's good enough, I guess. And the first one, which stands for the topic of your week, is going to be the King of Swords, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here. Pisces, that is going to be the Seven of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect of the week, which is the Five of Pentacles. And then the last one is going to be the guidance the Tower is offering to you, and that is going to be the Three of Cups. And uh, I don't do this often, but I think I need a couple of seconds with this one. It's um, I, it's a bit uh, it's a bit frantic message. It's not a frantic, but let's say scampered um, scampered message. Um, yeah. So. Uh, a bit of a, a tough week uh, for what it seems. Pisces, it does look like that at the end of the day you gotta make uh, you you gotta make uh, your peace with a um, a certain person. Okay, uh, mostly it's not. Uh, I don't think it's about your lover. Or it is about your husband. It's with someone else that you do have something to share with. And at the end of the day, I don't think that you are going to reach certain agreements and. Um, how do I place it? Uh, and if you want to continue on with that, um, with that endeavor, you will have to pretty much succumb to their vision, right? Or their stipulations, their code of conduct, and etc., etc. Which is a very good reading, by the way, because you do have a choice in a sense of that you can decide, well, screw it, I'm gonna take a part of it any longer. Or you may take um, the back seat and enjoy the ride. You know, you don't have to be... It will be bad week only for those who want to be a leaders at all costs. Because what we do have here, it is a, a clash of the leaders. You and the King of Swords. And this one plays dirty. But before we see how dirty it does play, let's run the cards one more time. King of Swords, it is the topic of the week, followed by the Eight of Cups, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the Five of Pentacles, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the um, Three of Cups, which stands for the guidance. So, King of Swords, person with a great amount of, great amount of influence and great amount of, of authority. Person who knows how to push buttons, person who knows about your weakness, okay? And a person has no problem to take advantage of any of it or of all of it, right? So it doesn't feel any remorse, it doesn't feel any pity, it doesn't feel any um, commiserations, it doesn't care how you feel, it doesn't care, you know, how you're going to end up when he uses this uh, hidden thrump in his sleeve, 
okay? That could be a thrumder, for example, that could be a coworker of yours, knowing that you screwed up back in the days in regards to a project that failed. No one knows about it right now, but they know, and they could divulge that to your boss. You get pun you can get punished and etc. etc. This one plays with whatever they can, and they don't care about rules. Okay, so it's a very fearsome enemy that it's not even an enemy, it's a competition, all right? A very fearsome competition that you will um, have to deal with throughout this week. Now, a very intelligent, uh, most likely a man, it could be a woman as well, uh, a person who very well understands how things work and very well know how to alter things as well. Someone who is capable to bend the truth in their favor. Okay, they don't lie, but in the same time, they are capable to twist it like the lawyers, right? Like the lawyers and the prosecutors. So the next one uh, or the accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles formation. It is the active enemies that we do have. It's going to undermine any... Um, it's going to try to undermine your work. So that person... Um, <clears throat> Uh, like I said, I'm sorry guys, someone is messaging me. Um, this person is going to undermine uh, this uh, important work that you have done, either regarding career or either regarding relationships. So, uh, in other words, it's going to try to diminish, his, it, to diminish his, its value, okay? That could be, for example, the father of your girlfriend, let's say, and your girlfriend is trying to defend you against him because he doesn't like you, and this father of hers is telling you, oh yeah, so what this person did for you, you know, so what is so great about them, you know, couldn't you find someone with more money, for example, or with, with better status in these kind of stuff, what is your future with this one, so it's kind of like undermining your value, that's the thing, it's kind of presenting you with someone incapable, uh, or uh, yeah, incapable to, to push things through, to, to um, attend to the, to the minor details, uh, incapable to um, secure future. So the next one it is the challenges that you need to uh, overcome here and that is the Eight of Cups. That challenge is a matter of a decision and a choice to make. Now this challenge, uh, it's a very positive one because it does point that no matter what you do, things are going to change in the sense of the new perspectives are going to happen for you or are going to start looming on the horizon although the current situation is unfortunate. So you have the decision to make, should you leave that situation or should you make a peace with it? There is no other options according to this card, right? There is no option like taking an upper hand on this Knight of Swords. They pretty much have the authority, even though if you have the rights, they do have the authority to overrule your rights. And I'm sorry I'm saying that, guys. I know it sounds um, negative, but it's what I see in these cards and in this channel, we don't sugarcoat anything, okay? So, and with these readings, so it's, it's just what I see. So it has the power to overrule your rights. And it's a very, uh, it's a very nefarious person, to be honest. A very bad one, in a sense of, like, ruthless. And... How do you say it? I don't know how to you say it. You say it like a... Someone simply doesn't care, you know? They only care if, for the grand scheme of things, they only care that the machine keeps on going. They don't care about the parts, which you are one of the parts. The accompanied card here, it is the King of Wands. Formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. So, um, <clears throat> you may lose your positive attitude with these two cards, all right? And yeah, your positive attitude is going to be severely damaged. It's, it's like you may um, seriously believe into what that person is trying to make you look like, all right? Incapable, um, unreliable you know, um, uh, as well, inconsistent and all these kind of stuff. Uh, and that will kind of like touch you from within. And, and I can understand that. The, the challenge with these two cards, additionally, it's not to dwell upon these uh, these thoughts because that is his opinion, okay? That is the opinion of the King of Swords. And what is good about the opinions is that they're like our butts. Everybody has them, you know, but... Uh, they, are, they don't have to be pretty, they don't have to be right, they don't have to be wrong, it's just their, his opinion. 
and, and, and not everybody thinks of you like that as a matter of fact with these next cards I think that he and a handful of other people are the only one that he will be able to convince uh, of, of that thing, okay? The majority of those which are around you, Pisces, will, uh, will see through this deception or this mm, twist of the truth, of the reality. So the next one, it is the positive aspect, and that will be the uh, Five of Pentacles. And although the competition is fearsome, okay, uh, and uh, impossible to overcome, you're not going to be alone in that with the Five of Pentacles. And uh, although this may cause a lot of issues, either emotional and, uh, and, and material issues to you as well, your pure uh, sport grudge, I, I can only name it that way, sport grudge, it's like a competitional grudge, will uh, make you so motivated to overcome all of, all of those problems that those problems will have no chance against you whatsoever. It's like uh, this testament of, uh, of my manager saying that if someone doesn't want to, if someone goes against you or doesn't want to be with you, the biggest punish that you can do to them is to show them that life goes on without them too, all right? So it's it's the same thing. If that person is someone who doesn't want to see you with their baby boy, well, so be it. Life goes on without them, right? If they don't want to see you successful in this company, well, so be it. There are so many other companies, right? There are so many other positions and etc. etc. Or should you decide to stay in it, just don't mind them. That's the best way you can do so is to ignore them completely. Let them scream, let them let them shriek uh, with their shrill uh, ululations, who cares? I mean, if you don't care, they will quickly kind of lose interest. The accompanied card, it is the three of uh, ones here. The formation, it is a, a passive uh, neutrals that we do have. So, <clears throat> uh, this uh, these two cards are pointing that you do have other foundations to step on, okay? So, that whatever this king of swords comes around in whatever endeavor or enterprise comes around, there are other enterprises and endeavors that that king cannot touch and in which you can prove yourself capable, reliable, consistent and lucrative, successful. And that will prove them wrong. So do not try to play their game. You cannot beat them in their game, okay? But you can force another game that it is alien to theirs. It's, it's as simple as that. A, a game that they have no control over. And the last one, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you that is going to be the Tree of Cups. And it says that the crowd is with you, right? Probably you're not the, the first victim of this uh, King of Swords. Unfortunately, it, it came your turn, right? They, they probably um, ruined many lives before that. And... Uh, you are to face a lot of support. People will share your vision. People will uh, empathize um, upon on you. You know, will empathize with you or on you. I don't know how to say it really of what you're going through, and will try to help you in any way they can. They will try to understand you in any way as well they can, and there will be no problem whatsoever to shed tears in front of them or to share your emotions as well. It is because this. Um, interaction here that we do have with his previous victims uh it will be completely completely sincere and the next one is going to be the uh ace of wands here formation it is the uh, passive uh, enemies that we do have so these people are going to encourage you not to wage war with this one to just leave him alone because alone he is you know it's just you know it's sad because in English, you say, leave me alone, but you are alone. You know what I mean? And when, when he has no one to brag about, no one to brag to about something, you know, and no one to terrorize and to um, exert its tyrannical uh, behavior, he has nothing to feed on. And even though he may be, you know, with a lot of authority, no one really cares if that authority cannot touches you 
at the foundations, like we said, which are um, outside or beyond his reach that you can start performing into. So yeah, that being said, guys, this was your weekly time reading for August 26th to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.